Shalom Bet Yisrael Yael, Nation of Yahweh. We are here on the uh, 29th of June. It's right about uh, 846 p.m. here at Teshua Community, and we are waiting for the sighting of the moon, the slither. So what I want to announce to us um, in scripture, Yira Leviticus chapter 23, I'm gonna start at verse 23, says this. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe saying, speak to the children of Yisrael, and which is that expression, it expressed to us a certain day, a certain time, which is the period of the evening which takes place of the remaining Yisrael, in this case, the seventh month. Now, in this seventh month, which is the renewing, it's a renewed month, Yisrael, the Kodash, we're waiting for that sliver which will announce the beginning, the renewed moon, the new time, which is the new uh, month, the first of the month. It says, in the first day of the month shall you have a Shabbat, a memorial blowing of the shofar. This is the Feast of Trumpets. Ryera Leviticus 23 and 25 says, you shall do no laborious work therein. So there's no laborious work. It's a Shabbaton unto us, Yisrael. But you shall offer an offer unto Yahweh made by fire. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, mm -hmm. Also on the tenth day of the seventh month, there should be a day of atonement. It should be a Kodesh convocation unto you. Mm -hmm. and you shall afflict your nephesh and offer an offer made by fire unto Yahweh. And you shall mm -hmm. do no work in that same day, for it is the day mm -hmm. of atonement. That's the day we Israel Yael, where we are forgiven our trespasses, our sins, knowing that Yahshua, He is the payment for us. He is the ransom paid in full. For all of our unclean ways, to give all that Yisrael is washed away. To make an atonement before Yahweh your Abba, for any nephesh that shall not be afflicted in that same day shall be cut from off among his people. And whatever nephesh it is that does any work in that same day, that same nephesh will I destroy from among the people. You should do no manner of work. You shall be a statue to you throughout your generations and all your dwellings. And it shall be to you a Shabbat, a day of rest. Of the month of that evening, from evening to evening, shall you celebrate the Shabbat. So that's what we're here for, to celebrate the Shabbat as we wait for the declaration of the slither, the new moon, which will in count represent the beginning of this month. So I want to say uh, Shabbat Shalom. This is the beginning of the Shabbat. So we may rest in him and in all his promises. Yahweh Baruch, you all use Rayael. Shalom, Shalom. Now enjoy the video as we, uh, out your shibby. Here's my cameraman. He will be walking around taking uh, clips of the conditions and also as we wait for the side of the moon. Shalom, Shalom. Who the? Blow that so far one time, son. All right. Hallelujah. Hit it again. All right. The more them of so far. Everyone is assembled here. Looking for the sliver of the moon. Watching with diligence. For the sign and the Shemayim. Shalom, Raya. Oh, shalom, baby. Shalom, Tiffy. Shalom. What you doing out here? Playing. What you looking for? Uh, Aren't you looking for the moon? Yeah. Aren't you looking for the moon? Yeah. What about you, Vita? I know you're going to tell us. What you looking for? 
I'm making something. I thought you were looking for the moon. Huh? Yes, I'm making something. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, Israel, this is the view of the Shemayans of the heavens as we are watching for the sliver of the moon, which constitutes the beginning of the new month, the beginning of the month of Yah. And also, at this time, the beginning of the Feast of Shofar. This the uh this the one you gave me earlier. Yes sir. All right, Shalom Nation, Yisrael. Oh, oh. Yahweh Baruch you all, you that have been viewing this on the video, Yahweh Baruch you all. So I want to read this in Yira Leviticus. This is concerning the renewing of this month, Yisrael, as we wait for the crescent, which is the beginning, it's the renewing of Almighty Yahweh. As we begin this feast of so far, it says this, Yira chapter 23, verse 23, and Yahweh spoke unto Moshe, saying, speak to the children of Israel, saying, in. Now, in, is the, in this expression, Israel, it's a specific time, it's in the process of that moment, he says, in this period of time, and these events which will take place, or the situation, in this case, Israel, the seventh month. He made it persistent. In the seventh month. In the seventh month. The Kodash. That is the renewing, the beginning. This period of time. This period of time during which an event takes place, a situation remains in this case, the Hodash. This word refers to the day on which the crescent appears. Specifically, and concerning the crescent when it appears. And the first day of the month, you shall have a Shabbat rest. It will be a memorial of the blowing of the shofar of the trumpets. A Kodas Convocation. That's why we are here today. In. In the Kodash. That's where we are, Yisrael, in. He said, you shall do no laborious work therein, but you shall offer an offering made by fire unto Almighty Yahweh. So we offer our offering unto Yahweh. We are Kodah, our praise. Yeah. Unto Him. Yeah. Moshe saying, also on the tenth day of the seventh month, there should be a day of atonement 
But on that tenth day, Israel is. It shall be a Kodesh convocation unto you, and you shall afflict your nephew. And offer an offering unto Yahweh, made by fire. And you shall do no work on that same day, for it is a day of atonement, of forgiveness, to be compassionate, Israel, having tranquility one with another, to pardon one that has sinned against you, to purge away guilt, to put off my unclean ways, to reconcile with Yahweh and the nation. That's what we must do, Israel. To make an atonement for you before Yahweh your Abba for any nephesh that will not be afflicted in that same day, he shall be cut off from among his people. And whatsoever nephesh it is that does any work in that same day, that same nephesh will I destroy from among his people. He shall do no manner of work. It shall be a statue forever throughout your generations and all of your dwellings. It shall be to you a Shabbat of rest. You shall afflict your nephesh in the ninth day of the month at evening. From evening to evening shall you celebrate your Shabbat. So we celebrate Israel. This is our Shabbat. And we are entering into the waiting now. Hallelujah. Renewing our this month. So let us blow the shofar. Sweeties, we have a little refreshment for us, so let us enjoy them and let us fellowship Israel Yael in this great time, this great event that Yahweh has made and that He has given unto us. Hallelujah. Oh, 